time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, and today I'm starting another big project. And uh, it's kind of a project I've wanted to start for a long time, but uh, I finally have just been overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that I have. I have so many 3D printers and I just got an X card from Inventables, which is a big uh, three axis CNC machine. And uh, I don't have room for it all and it's becoming incredibly hard to shoot videos. So today I have a couple of friends coming over to help me start the process of cleaning up my garage so I can turn it into a maker space. Now my garage is in pretty bad shape. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's freaking horrible. I've used it as a dumping ground for months and I've just let it go into complete shit. So hopefully with their help, we can do a dump run today. We can get all the old crap out of there. And then once I get it clear, I'm gonna seal the floor uh, so that no moisture can come up through it. I'm gonna put some carpet in there. Uh, I might even mud and paint the walls. Uh, but the goal is to put in a bunch of countertops so that I can have all of my 3D printers out there and all my uh, like CNC equipment, anything I use for making stuff. And then once I have it all out there, it'll make it a lot easier to make videos for you guys. So, uh, first I need some coffee. Could I get uh, two tall peppermint mochas and grande cups with extra whip? And one of those I want to be a half decaf. All right, what else for you today? How about two bacon uh, Gouda sandwiches? Two. Two of those. Yep. You got it. Anything else? That'll be it. Coffee, 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 coffee. God, I love coffee. Mmm, caffeine. Mmm. Hey, if I'm holding the selfie stick and my coffee, who's driving? Oh, shit. Don't drive and vlog, people. Unless your name happens to be Barnacles or Chris Perillo. Yeah, the only way this is ever going to get cleaned up is if I get some help from some friends. Luckily, I got some really good friends. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, my friends finally showed up over here. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Woo! That's Greg. You might recognize him and his wife, uh, Barbie. We're gonna call her Barbie. That's your that's your alias for the internet. And uh, yeah, they're helping me clean up the garage. As you can see, we already got a bunch of stuff in the back of the truck. Um, and I'm already just squirting all over the place that Greg's throwing away all my stuff. So uh, I guess I am really a hoarder. Yes, you are. It's already kind of looking a little better though. Look, you can stand there now. You couldn't stand there like 15 minutes ago. This is garbage. I'm going to throw this away. What? No, <laughs> I'm, no, that, I'm selling that. No. All right, we're starting to make a little dent here. Here, what'd you find, Greg? Yeah, I found a Windows cup. You want that? Yeah, let's keep it. Nah. Aw. <laughs> oh, man, Xbox 360 DVD or this HD DVD player. So, Greg, what do, what do we find there? I don't know. What is that? It looks like an old Microsoft Ship It Award. What should we do with it? Yeah, throw it. <laughs> What's going on, Jerry? Hey, I found a couple of books from Microsoft. It looks like we got Inside Out and Heroes. Digging through the garage, I found some old CDs. Look, that's Windows NT Server. Wow. Windows 2000? Yeah, I don't got nothing runs this anymore. Bye. Well, we got lots of stuff in the back of the truck. We got a lot of stuff we're going to donate. We got a lot of stuff I'm keeping, a lot of stuff I'm gonna sell. Ah, shit! <laughs> Sorry. Ah, Greg just Sorry, hit bro. me! Greg just hit me with Sorry, something! Oh, okay? yeah, I think he just cracked me in the eye with a cable. I did. Ow. There's an Xbox cable. It's okay. Greg, Greg's mad. Sorry. Are you mad, bro? No, I'm not mad. <laughs> hey, we're making some progress here. Look at this! Look at this! Looks good. We're getting there. It's gonna be an ongoing project, but boy, when this is done, it's gonna be awesome. Almost got our first truckload ready to go to the dump. Man, it's hard being a hoarder. It really it is. is. It's it is. so hard. You try. All right, guys. Well, tons of progress being made here, uh, I think. Hasn't come easy, though, has it, Greg? No. I do not like to give things away and throw things away because... It's easy for me. Because um, it's, it's easy for Greg. That's why you always want to have a friend help you when you're in a hoarding situation because they have no problem throwing all your stuff away. Start to call him Hordicles. And then that's my new name. I'm now Hordicles. So, so hashtag Hordicles. It's looking so good. All right, time for a lunch break. Okay, now vlog, you got to tell the people what you're thinking. Uh, you know, it's a blog. It's a blog? Yeah, it's all just a blog. Can you even see yourself on the camera, dude? You're like not yeah. even pointing at you. You can know, see his nose and mouth. Your nose and mouth? That's all yeah, you, Here, you drop, know. Drop down a little like that. There you go. See, now you can see your whole face. Now hold it there. Here, lift up a little. Say, I'm Xander. There you go. Say hi. I'm Z hi. 
Hi. Hey, I'm Xander. I'm Xander. And I'm eating lunch. And I'm eating lunch. And Daddy's cleaning the garage with friends. Yeah, you know. Man, he's got a steady vlogging hand. Look at that sucker. <laughs> he's not making anybody emotion sick. <laughs> okay, say bye. Bye. All right, so we got one full truckload here. Another full truckload there. Just getting ready to head to the dump. Man, it's like a whole new garage, Barbie. So, Greg, you help me clean up my shed? Yeah, it looks good. Look at that, the Bitcoin mine slash shed's looking a lot better too. So now we can move a bunch of the stuff in here that was in the garage. Whew, this is, man, this is hard work. Yeah. Even when you got friends doing 90% of it, it is hard work. <laughs> hey, check it out. My friend's wife has OCD, so she put labels on everything. Everything. So anybody want to take bets on how long it takes me to get everything disorganized? Three days. Three days? Three days. You think of three days? I'm coming back three days, we'll all be dirty. Three days. Leave your estimates down in the comments. All right, well, we got two truckloads of stuff and now we're headed to the dump. So I cannot believe how much crap I had in that garage. And it was really hard letting go of a lot of that stuff because it's hard to make that decision of whether you want to sell stuff, whether you want to donate or whether you want to throw it away, depending on like what its value is and the time involved. It's taking a lot out of me today, but you know what? To be able to reclaim that space and be able to use it for something else like 3D printing and future projects and future videos makes this all completely worth it. It's actually a huge burden lifted. And there's my buddy's truck hauling all my crap. And I've got a truckload of crap myself. So this is the end of the line, huh, Greg? Yeah, bro. End of the line. Okay. I know I'm a little sad, bro. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. A little sad. Well, it's been fun. Yeah, 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 well, I finally understand what it's like watching that TV show, Hoarders Buried Alive, what people go through. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm like a hoarder of that level, but uh, still, there's just something hard about getting rid of a lot of stuff, because when you're digging through it and going through it, I mean, a lot of it has memories, a lot of it has sentimental value, and but it has no monetary value, and it's just taking up space, and it's not stuff that you're using. So, whew, it's hard, it's hard to do, but... Uh, Kind of glad I vlogged about it, telling you, showing you guys what I'm going through and stuff and uh, the process and everything. I mean, it actually kind of helps and is making it a little bit more fun than had I just done it without videotaping it. All right, now I gotta go weigh my truck so I can pay him for all the stuff that's now missing out of the bed. All right, well now I finished at the dump. So now I headed over here to Costco so I can pick up some more stuff to fill all that space I just freed up. Got some new lights for the garage. LED. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Costco was sold out of the racks that we needed, but I did get some new lighting for the garage, and I'll probably order the organization stuff online or hopefully find it somewhere else because I want to get this project really going. Daddy's garage is good. Your garage is kind of good. Kind of good? Good job. Well, it's starting to get cleaned up, I think, a little bit more and put some tables in here and stuff, and then we can put in some gaming stuff. Is that cool? Yeah, with some gaming stuff. Do you want to come out here? You gonna look at the camera? Yeah. See, look at the camera. Say hi, internet. Hi, internet. <laughs> You're so adorable. Hey, I got some LED shop lights here from Costco, so we're gonna go ahead and hang them up and replace these uh, these poor people fluorescent bulbs that are half burned out. You gonna do it, Greg? What's that? Uh, that is like a tw That's like a first generation LED bulb. Holy that's God. like that's like you know before uh, LED bulbs where people even had them. Like I got that from uh, Vetco Electronics, and it was like forty dollars. Wow. And look, they're like real little, like old school LEDs just clustered in there. It's not even bright at all. Dude. It's it's not. Well, it was brighter when I first bought it. It got pretty dim, but yeah, no, but that's that's like original LED. Let's do it, bro. Yeah. LED shop lamps installed. They're actually quite a bit brighter than the fluorescent ones. Have a better color temperature, so hopefully those will be good for shooting videos out here. I got a long way to go though. I still got to do a lot of painting and put some carpet in and all kinds of stuff. But I'll keep vlog. If you guys like the vlogging of this whole garage project, let me know and I'll keep doing it. Excuse yourself! <laughs> oh, did, did Uncle Greg fart? Yeah, you oh, know. Was it Pewee? Ew, yes! So Pewee. It was, uh, it was hard work watching Greg clean up my garage today, so I'm taking a little break. Yeah, drinking you're some welcome, mango orchard. Yep, here, cheers. Good times. I'm still a hoarder, but I'm not as bad of a hoarder now. Barna hoard. <laughs> Barna hoard? <laughs> hashtag Barna hoard. Or hoard. Hordicles. Hordicles? Yeah, hashtag Hordicles. Well, thank you so much, guys, for helping me clean up my garage. It's an ongoing project, and now we're all going to have some pizza. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'll go do really naughty things to her. Oh, yeah. 
All right, so day one working on the hoarding is complete. It's actually really late. My friend uh, Greg and his wife Barbie just went home, and Barbie isn't her real name, it's just what I call her, it's her nickname. But uh, they helped me so much. I mean, look at this, guys. I mean, we, we took two entire truckloads to the dump. We took another half truckload to be donated. And there's still a lot of stuff in here that I need to sell. But uh, you can see, I can actually like walk around in my garage. I have not been able to do this in a while. So I am really, really excited. And a lot's gonna change, guys. We got a lot of tools up on the wall. But that's only temporary. I'm actually planning on putting workbenches all the way down one side of the wall with drawers underneath them and some cabinets and some more closed in space so that I can seal the concrete and I'm gonna put carpet in here. And this is gonna be a long project. It's not gonna happen overnight, obviously. And, uh, and I'm also gonna sand down the walls and put some paint on them just to brighten it up out here uh, for doing some video stuff. But this is, this is a huge first step and I think this is gonna be like a game changer for the YouTube channel because now I'll have a big area with all the 3D printers the Inventables X car and anything else that I get in the future 3D printing or makerspace related out here deployed and I'm hoping to have it also set up with like a little couch or a little love seat get my fridge out here get a TV out here and that way I can do some retro gaming out here because I got tons of retro gaming stuff in all these boxes here I've got Nintendo 64 I've got Sega Saturn I've got an original NES a Famicom all kinds of cool consoles. It's not the biggest collection ever by a long shot, but it's a good start and I'd love to have it all accessible and set up so that I could just come out here and play. Well guys, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog and as we progress on this, I'm gonna go ahead and create more vlogs for you guys. So let me know if you guys enjoy them down in the comments and hit that like button if you do. Uh, it's gonna be a big journey over some time, but I think, I think the end results are gonna be awesome. I already feel a thousand times better, guys. I was feeling completely buried in this house. It was getting really, really bad. And it's still got a long ways to go, even in the nerd cave. I have boxes everywhere, but this is a big first step for me, and this is gonna change everything. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also, come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.